Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're over 50 and wondering if it's too late to achieve financial independence, I've got some good news for you. It's never too late to take control of your finances and work toward the freedom you deserve. Whether you're looking to retire early or simply want to live life on your own terms, this video will break down practical steps to achieve financial independence, even if you're in your 50s or beyond. We're going to talk about responsible budgeting, smart investing, and planning for a secure future. It's about taking charge and making your money work as hard as you have. So, if you're ready to start building your financial future, let's get into it. You've poured your heart and soul into your work, your family, and building a life you can be proud of. Now it's time to ensure your finances reflect the wisdom you've gained. Financial goals in your 30s or 40s might not be the same now. Life throws curveballs, career changes, raising a family, or unexpected bumps in the road. Take a step back and reevaluate. What does financial independence mean to you now? For some, it's retiring comfortably. For others, it's pursuing passions or handling life's challenges. Calculate your financial independence number. Multiply your annual expenses by 25. Aim for that target. Remember, this is a journey. Break it down into manageable steps. With a solid plan and determination, you can achieve this. Let's talk about debt, that unwelcome guest that overstays its welcome. Debt can feel like a heavy weight, especially as you're thinking about retirement. But here's the good news. You have the power to break free. If you're still carrying credit card debt, a mortgage or loans, now's the time to tackle them head on. Credit cards, especially, can be sneaky with their high interest rates. Think of it this way. Every dollar you're paying in interest is a dollar that could be growing in your investment account instead. One of my favorite methods for conquering debt is the debt snowball method. Start by focusing on your smallest debt, regardless of the interest rate. Pay as much as you can on that debt each month while making minimum payments on your other debts. Once that first debt is gone, celebrate that victory. Then, roll that payment amount you are making onto the next smallest debt, like a snowball gathering momentum. This method is incredibly effective because it gives you a sense of progress and keeps you motivated. As you see those debts disappear one by one, you'll gain confidence and momentum. Remember, becoming debt-free is an investment in your future. It's about reclaiming your financial power and creating a solid foundation for lasting financial independence. Here's where being over 50 works in your favor. The IRS knows that you might be playing catch up when it comes to retirement savings, and they've got your back with something called catch up contributions. Think of it as a turbo boost for your retirement accounts. If you have a 401k or an IRA, you can contribute even more money than younger folks. In 2024, you can put an extra $7,500 into your 401k and an additional $1,000 into your IRA if you're 50 or older. That's free money you're leaving on the table if you don't take advantage. These catch-up contributions are a fantastic way to make up for lost time and supercharge your savings. And don't forget about employer matching programs if your company offers them. That's like getting a bonus just for saving for your future. Remember, time is your greatest asset when it comes to retirement savings. The sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. So even if you haven't been saving aggressively, it's never too late to start. Make a plan, maximize those contributions, and watch your retirement nest egg soar. Chapter four, diversify your investments. You've worked hard for your money, so let's make sure it works hard for you. When it comes to investing, diversification is key. You've probably heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, the same goes for your investments. In your 50s, it's all about finding the right balance between growth and stability. The stock market has historically provided excellent returns over the long term, but you don't want all your money riding on the ups and downs of the market. That's where a well-diversified portfolio comes in. Think of it as creating a team of investments that work together to help you reach your goals. A good rule of thumb is to invest your age in bonds. So if you're 50, aim for around 50% of your portfolio in bonds and the rest in stocks and other investments. Bonds provide stability and income, while stocks offer the potential for growth. And don't forget about dividend-paying stocks. These are like the gift that keeps on giving. 
providing you with regular income just for owning them. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making smart, informed decisions that align with your long-term goals. Don't be afraid to seek guidance from a trusted financial advisor who can help you create a personalized plan tailored to your needs. Chapter five, consider part-time or freelance work. Who says retirement means slowing down completely? Many people in their 50s and beyond are discovering the joys and financial benefits of part-time or freelance work. It's a fantastic way to stay engaged, keep your skills sharp, and bring in some extra income. Think about your passions and skills. What are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? Could you turn those talents into a side hustle or freelance gig? Whether it's writing, consulting, teaching, or something completely different, there are endless possibilities in today's gig economy. Not only can part-time or freelance work provide a financial boost, but it can also bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment. It allows you to stay connected, learn new things, and contribute your skills to the world. Plus, that extra income can be a game changer for your financial independence goals. It can help you delay tapping into your retirement savings, allowing your investments to grow even more. Or it can give you the financial freedom to pursue those passions you've always dreamed of. Don't underestimate the power of a side hustle. As our lives change, so do our needs. The house that was perfect for raising a family might feel awfully big and expensive once the kids have flown the coop. Downsizing your living arrangements can be a liberating step towards financial independence. Imagine selling your current home and using the equity to purchase a smaller, more manageable place. Perhaps one that's closer to family or in a community you love. Or consider renting for a while, giving yourself the flexibility to explore different locations and lifestyles. Downsizing isn't just about saving money on housing costs, it's also about simplifying your life. A smaller space means less cleaning, less maintenance, and more time and money to focus on the things that truly matter. Take a close look at your other living expenses as well. Are there subscriptions you no longer use? Can you cut back on dining out or find more affordable entertainment options? Every dollar you save is a dollar that can be invested in your future freedom. Social security is a valuable safety net. But did you know that you can strategically maximize your benefits by delaying when you start collecting? For every year you delay claiming Social Security beyond your full retirement age, your monthly benefit increases by about 8%. That's a significant boost in guaranteed income. If you're able to delay taking Social Security until age 70, you'll receive the maximum benefit amount. This can be especially beneficial if you anticipate living a long and healthy life, ensuring that your income keeps up with your needs. Of course, the decision of when to start collecting Social Security is a personal one, and it's essential to consider your individual circumstances. However, if you're in a position to delay, it can be a powerful tool for enhancing your retirement income and securing your financial future. Remember, knowledge is power, so be sure to research your options and make the choice that's right for you. Your health is your most valuable asset especially as you age. Staying healthy isn't just good for your well-being, it's also crucial for protecting your finances. Healthcare costs can put a significant dent in your retirement savings, so it's essential to make your health a top priority. Make regular doctor's appointments, get those screenings, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Eat nourishing foods, get enough sleep, and find ways to manage stress. Staying active is also key. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's walking, dancing, swimming, or gardening. Remember, investing in your health is an investment in your financial future. By staying healthy, you're reducing the risk of costly medical bills down the road, allowing you to enjoy your hard-earned financial independence to the fullest. Take care of yourself. Your body and your wallet will thank you. And there you have it. Some solid, actionable steps that can help you achieve financial independence even if you're over 50. Remember, it's never too late to take control of your finances. With the right mindset and a solid plan, you can still create a future where you're financially free and able to live life on your own terms. You've worked hard and you deserve to enjoy the fruits of your labor. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more personal finance tips and share this video with someone who might benefit from it. 
Thanks for watching and here's to a financially independent future.